As of right now, there are hundreds of videos uploaded on Reel.Video, thousands coming, tens of thousands by the end of this year, if not, if not, I don't know, hundreds of thousands, who knows. But what's really critical or interesting about this is that now we're starting to see videos there that were banned by YouTube. And I don't know if you know this, but YouTube did a massive purge of videos about David Hogg, the Parkland school shooting, the Sandy Hook school shooting, the Las Vegas shooting. They purged all the videos that did not agree with the official narrative. Think about that. If you were an independent journalist and you had a different point of view than the lying fake news left-wing media, your video was banned by YouTube. And I told people, well, well, I asked people months ago, you know, save your videos because real.video is coming. Save your videos, save the files because you're going to have a platform soon, a place to put those files where the public can see them, where you won't be banned. And that place is real.video. And now it's, it's launched in beta. You can go to beta.real.video or actually right now just www.real.video. You can see all the videos showing up there. Uh, they change every you know, couple of hours. Uh, I've got a moderation crew working on it. They're, it's probably changing every hour at this point. There are new videos showing up all the time. Well, I noticed there was a video up there by a channel. Now I forgot the channel name. But it's a video about Sandy Hook and about what the video depicts as this, this fake actor named David Wheeler, who plays both a grieving parent and an FBI sniper, but he walks around waving the barrel of his rifle at everyone and holding the gun by the magazine, not holding, not holding the firearm as you would correctly, proving that he has no familiarity with a firearm, by the way. He's not, he's not part of the FBI, and he's the only guy in the photos who doesn't have an FBI um, logo on his costume. So he kind of blends in with the FBI guys, and he's on camera, and all the photos were captured. And then he's in front of Congress crying, saying his child died, and then he's on camera saying he's a parent, but he's also an FBI sniper who's on the scene? Really? That video is now available at Reel.Video. You can see it for yourself. Just search for David Wheeler, W-H-E-E-L-E-R. Watch it. I think it's like 36 minutes. Fascinating video. And this, this podcast here isn't about Sandy Hook. It's just about this idea that so many of these videos banned by YouTube are now starting to show up on Reel.Video. There are others, too. Uh, I've seen some videos about Las Vegas and the shooting there. No doubt there are going to be videos about Parkland. I've already seen videos about David Hogg that were banned by YouTube. And you see, this is the whole point. This is why Reel.Video exists. And even better, the next event that happens, all right? So this is actually the bigger point. The next event that happens, whether there's some false flag or some big media hoax or some actual event, some actual shooting, or you know a terrorism event or whatever, some big event that happens, like the next 9-11, let's say, you're only going to get the real questions asked at independent video websites like Reel.Video. You're never going to get a video through YouTube unless, unless it is consistent with the official fake narrative pushed by the establishment. So that's, that's when Reel.Video is really going to explode in popularity, by the way, is the next big event. Because Reel.Video will be the, the place where people will learn that's where to go to get the real story on this. That's where you find out what really happened. Because the videos are going to come on there in real time. Our transcoding is working very rapidly. That's where you upload your video and then the video gets processed. It's called transcoding. And it actually means the video file is being, it's being um, converted into like six or seven different formats. Low res, high res, mobile formats, you know, whatever so that it can play on all kinds of different devices. That's called transcoding. The transcoding happens very quickly, and then the playback, right now it's taking like an hour for playback to be available, but that's gonna get faster. Our goal is to make that 10 minutes. So someone uploads a video, gets transcoded and made live, 
as quickly as 10 minutes. That's our goal. We're not there yet, but that's our goal. And especially when there are big events breaking like that, we will put extra moderation staff onto this and we'll, we'll get videos out the door more quickly, you know, approved for, for publishing. So just keep that in mind and help us spread the word, of course, too, because, you know, we need public support for this to work. But the next time something big happens, any big news event, uh, go to real.video and we're going to be, we've got a, a category there on the homepage called editor's picks. And on editor's picks, uh, those are videos that, that we particularly think are, are worth viewing. And we're going to have a lot on editor's picks when it comes to like breaking news. We're going to have videos there that are all about the breaking news item that we think are the, the, the better or more interesting or better quality videos to view. So, you know, you're going to want to watch that because YouTube's just going to be lies, lies, lies. And real dot video is going to be independent journalism, asking tough questions, doing independent analysis, posting videos that, that call into question the fake official narrative, because, you know, in almost all these cases, the official narrative is fake, right? You know that. I mean, heck, half of America has learned that by now. The official narrative is almost always a cover-up of one type or another. So real.video is where you're going to get the truth. And that's super cool. Uh, it's also cool that you, as an end user, you can watch those videos and you are not tracked. Well, I mean, not tracked by us. You're probably tracked by the NSA, by the way. I mean, the NSA can track your home IP address and what web web addresses you go to, you know, your browser traffic. The NSA tracks all that crap. They track your emails. They track your text messages. They track your phone calls, all the metadata, the voice recording, you know, everything. But what I'm saying, we don't track. We don't track users viewing videos because we don't have like a user login, you know? Users are anonymous to us. I mean, yeah, our server logs track just the, you know, they log the IP address uh, just as a, that's just a normal part of having a server log. But we don't have any identifying information about you and we don't compare, we don't make a list of the videos that you viewed. You know, we don't build a psychological profile of you like Google does and YouTube does. They use that to market to you and sell that information to marketing companies and they also backdoor it over to the NSA by the way. I mean, Google is a, it, it, it's the deep state. It's the front end to the deep state. And if you're using Google, you're just letting the deep state spy into your mind, you know, based on the videos you're viewing, the search terms you're searching for, the websites you visit that have Google analytics and all that stuff. You'll notice we don't have any Google analytics on real.video. In fact, our, our goal has been to be 100% Google free on that site. Now, I don't know if there are some minor, minor code components on there somewhere that might invoke some Google code because Google's very heavily involved in a lot of the job, JavaScript, you know, .js source code modules and things. There might be small elements, but we're going to root them out. Our job is to get rid of all the Google elements, and we're sure not running Google Analytics, and we're sure not running Google AdWords, AdSense, none of that stuff. No Google search, nothing. And by the way, if, if, if you look at our source code and you see anything from Google anywhere in the source code, please let us know so we can root it out. Because I, I've told the same thing to my team, my R&D team. And we've got components from a lot of other companies, smaller independent companies, uh, video technology companies, uh, uh, login authorization companies, uh, data storage and database companies. You know, we actually we pulled together a lot of components to build real.video. That's how we did it so quickly, by the way. If you try to build all that yourself, you'd spend freaking, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, which we don't have. Because <laughs> the NSA isn't writing us big fat checks, you see what I'm saying? Because we're not an extension of the deep state. So we have very little money, relatively speaking, and we use off-the-shelf components and we protect your privacy. So that's cool. It means that as an end user, you can watch these you know, controversial videos, and you're not going to be tracked for it. I mean, not by us. Again, the NSA can probably track everybody, but you could use a, a VPN and get around that if you wanted to. So, you know, there's ways around that. In any case, uh, it's all good news. Check it all out at real.video. Lots of new videos 
showing up there every day. Still some glitches. In fact, a lot of glitches, like 50 plus. Uh, we're working on it. We know. We get reports every hour from people who are like, what about this? What about that? We're like, yeah, we know. It's on our list. Thank you. We're working on it. We're going to get it ironed out. Just give us some time. This stuff's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would have already built it before. You know, this is hard. It's hard to get this right, but I appreciate your patience and I appreciate your interest in what we're doing. And, and I know you understand why we're doing it, why this matters. It's a big deal. Public knowledge, you know, for, for transparency, for journalism, for the future of our civilization. This is a big deal. So thank you for your support. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.